Hello OOTP, this is Twins34 here to redo the face gens video that I did before. So we'll get started by going to the forums. I am on the OOTP Out of the Park Baseball 25 website. You will want to go underneath the OOTP mods. You want to go down and find the OOTP mods roster photos and quick starts. And then you want to go to Lansdowne Street and his complete universe face gen pack 2.0. At least this is the one that I use and I find it to be very well made. Go into his first post and you will find the download link there. I will also put this download link in the description of the video. Download this link. You should find it in your downloads on your computer. You want to open this up with whatever unzipping program you use. I use WinRAR. You can use 7-zip. You can use WinZip. You will want to take those files, click on it, open it up so you see the FG files folder. And then you could just take this and drag and drop it right into your OOTP directory. Now let's go to the OOTP directory because some of you will have the OOTP downloaded from their website. Others will have it downloaded from Steam. I have both versions. So for me, if I'm going to install to my OOTP directory that I bought from OOTP, I have it underneath my D drive. It is right here. I named it OOTP 25. You want to open that up, go directly to data, and you will find right here you see the FG files folder. This is your face gen folder, not the one that says face gen. FG underscore files is the folder we will be dealing with. So if you're just going to take it right from WinZip or 7-Zip, whichever you're going to use, I would rename this file folder. You can right click on it, go to rename, or you can slowly double click and it will pop up like this. And just type dot BAK, hit enter, and then bring up your extraction folder. Click on this take it to a blank spot make sure you are not on another folder or you will put it in that folder and it will not work unless you go and point OOTP to where your face gens are so make sure you are on a blank spot take it down to the bottom it doesn't matter where but then let go let it copy over to OOTP Now, if you are on Steam, you want to go into your Steam folder, find Steam apps, find common, and then find your OOTP25. 
go into your data folder and once again as you see here FG files but as you see here I also have my old folder that I renamed to FG underscore dot back this is the universal face gen pack that I downloaded off OTP once you have all this done on your computer you can go into OTP 25 I'm gonna create a brand new game I'm gonna do a historical sim no challenge mode I'll leave it at 2005 to make this faster I'm not going to import anything and then I'm going to name this FG underscore files we get the game created once the game is created there really is not much you do all of these should load automatically but we will check to make sure that is the case. I will pick my Minnesota Twins. Now, if you do ever have any questions you can go to the OTP forums and ask these guys that make these projects any question and they will be happy to answer them for you. So now that I am in the game, I am going to go to game and game settings. You have a face gen tab under there. Click on that. And automatically, it should be set for search for photo fit first, which is the picture mode. I would unload this, unclick it. Do not need to install any picture files because we are not using any photo packs. You can have it on demand or on creation where on demand would be nobody would have any pictures until you actually look at their profile or you start a game that's going to have them in it. It does help with saving space on your computer, but if you have, you know, two terabyte drive, it's not that necessary to not have all the pictures so for me I'm gonna go upon player creation you can have them change their moods they can be happy they can be sad they can be angry and when their mood changes it will update their face gen picture in game now Here's another place you can also set to have it as all players or you can have it as major league players only. This means no minor league players will get a picture until they become a major league player. Now if you're doing an online league and you want to have everybody to have a picture turn on all players you can force update it to check for 
every single pitcher and load it into your game, which does take quite a bit of time. Um, you can set pitchers for your coaches. Once again, that's another function. You can force update them. You can actually go and make your own face gen files of coaches and put them in the game if you want. No one, to my knowledge, has created a face gen pack for that yet. But once you have all the settings in here done, and you've done your force updates if you want to, you can go check your face gens by going into your team. You can just hover over or go in and see if they actually have a face gen. And it looks like all these players do. Now the cool thing that these creators of these face gen packs have done have taken actual pictures of these players and taken the time to use a face gen program to make all these wonderful little face gens. So when you do go download this pack, thank them. They took a lot of time and a lot of effort to make these. And they do an amazing job. A lot of the creators in the OOT TP mod forums are amazing at what they do. And if you download something from them, make sure they know they are very much appreciated for what they have done for the game. I do have another video that explains how to install the photo pack so that you have real life pictures of the players instead of the face gens. And you can find that in the description of the video. You can also find the links for both the universal face gen download and the photo pack download in the description as well. All right, once again, this has been Twin34. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv twins underscore 34 where I do streams of helping people understand OOTP. If you have a question, come check out when I'm streaming and ask if I'm in the middle of playing something, I will stop and help you figure out what your question is. So that is it for me. I will make more videos of creating certain games and showing how to do other things in OOTP. Once again, this has been Twins34, and y'all have a great day.